Hi, I'm David Carradine, and you're watching Music Industry Television. This is Glenn Lorbecki. I'm co-chair of the Producers and Engineers Wing for the Recording Academy, and you are watching Music Industry Television. In, uh, in the classrooms, um, I teach about producers and, and we start with you. I don't know if you know that, but we start with you. We always start with you and your career, but um, let's talk to you a little bit about your career. You also have an amazing career besides being mentored by some great people. Well, I, I mean, this is the one of the most fun weeks of the year we have, working around Grammy Week. There's so much stuff going on. The Grammy television show, which Phil and I supervise the broadcast audio. So if you're sitting at home listening to the show and it don't sound good, it's our fault. <laughs> but we actually are very proud of it because we really have a lot of resources there, creatively, people, technology. It's really good stuff that we have. And we get a, a, a soundtrack out now for people in their homes that's unlike any thing you can get on any other music show. The Recording Academy has the best line of artists this year. It's over the top who's on this show. 22 artists. Right, I heard that uh, you have like 25% more artists and yet you only have the same amount of rehearsal time. Is that is that true? Yeah. Right, that's correct. So our guys are all working a little more focused, concentrating. We don't have quite as much time, but we've got Phil and I have developed some techniques in the way, I mean, Phil is known for pushing technology and being a groundbreaker and being a leader and literally that's what we've done on this show for 20 years. He and I have been involved with the broadcast audio for 20 years. He was actually involved with it way before that for a minute too. But Those great big knobs, right? Right. right, right. Uh, but really pushing the technology and we have some stuff going on in this show which no other television production has anywhere in the world. It's, it is the most complicated audio production of any television show in the world. And we have a great team of people and, and such as yourself. We, we enjoy, yes, we're part of a good team. Thank you. This is a great team. Um, and also, for again, for the up and comings, what kind of advice would you give them? Like, what do you look for when you want to work with somebody? Passion. That's a yeah. good word. It, it, otherwise, it, yeah. it's hard to get started. There's long hours. It's it's not a conventional lifestyle. It's night times. It's following what the artist, when the magic is, which means it's a little unpredictable in the career path. But if you have the passion, you got a chance to make it. And uh, so when you see that in a young person, if they're a musician, if they're an aspiring engineer, you know real early if they've got the the you know got the fire. I don't know why I patted my stomach when I yeah. said fire. What was that about? <laughs> right. Well, you know, one of, one of the things that I hear about the, the young students is they think like a producer is just, uh, they just stick to one genre and you guys are evidence that that's not true. So it's about the talent no matter what genre because you've done Latin stuff, right? You've done rock. You've done, you've done all sorts of music. If you look at the Phil Ramon discography, it's mind-boggling in its breadth and depth. It goes everywhere. So it's really just about quality, Great music, great excitement. Well, a lot, a lot of that um, came from my youth being, I, I was afraid if I didn't do a movie and then do a Broadway show and then do a, a comedy album or something. I, I always believed that it kept me fresh. And when people called up, they thought that somehow that's what you do. And variety is, is incredible. You're, I never slept for a long time. Yeah. You know? When you're young and in the studio, you don't sleep. That's the first thing you give up. You leave at dawn, you're back at noon. Right, and last question for all the gearheads that are out there, because you guys are amazing, uh, amazing, amazing uh, studio guys and engineers. Can you tell us, uh, each one of you, um, what's like the one item that you can't live without in your studio? Well, for me, it's a good, a great preamp. If you're talking technology, I want a, the best preamp, and I can get by with a lot of different microphones. But um, if I if I can capture it really clean and and good, I I can then play with it, and that for me is the key.
Right, the, a preamp. What about for you? Oh, I don't know if there's one piece of indispensable, but I'll tell you a piece that I'm got, I got a little excitement. I'm kind of thinking about. We're bringing in. We have it at the show this year. There's a special microphone that I can't find anything like this, called a holophone, which is great for surround sound recording. It's very unique. It's a single mic with six capsules in it, and it's a great problem solver that we're using on this show. And I just uh, think if people get a chance to use it, they'll find unique students, new new recording engineers, will find unique ways to use this because surround is where it's at. Anything with a picture, a television, a theatrical feature, is done in surround. If, it, if it's got a picture, they're finishing it in the surround. So you need, we need, we're just at the beginning of creating the tools that we need to make surround really pop. Sure, it's just it's getting back to like when Pro Tools came out. You know, I've, I've, I once I asked Ed Turney, uh, uh, analog or digital, and he said whatever sounds good. Right. right? Well, thank you, gentlemen, for being on Music oh, Industry it's Television. Nice to see you. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you very much.